Uh, you can also create uh, random levels if you go file new random level. Okay, I don't want to save that one. I think a game guru is probably one of the most underrated uh, game engines out there in the market. Actually, you can get this game engine right now uh, for six dollars, and uh, the link is down below. Oh my god, I need to grab that one. The zombies are coming. Down. We can aim. That's okay, I have 100 bullets. Oh my god, he almost got me. How about you? And finito. Wait for the Okay, so there has been a bunch of updates for this because there is a new version of this coming out. Um, Game Guru Max. Actually if you order if you pre-order right now, you can get it a lot cheaper. And the new level here. Let me just show you how easy it is to make a game with this thing. You place your marker, okay. This is where you start. This is kinda like your player start position. You can uh, have a gun by default or you can pick it up. Right now, I'm going to change the um, uh, the player just jump uh, jump speed, I guess. Uh, what is how, how do I select jump? It's here somewhere. I mean, just make this uh, five lives in case I died. And uh, regeneration rate. You can make your health go back up again if you wanted to. Uh, let me just make that uh, 15. A regeneration speed, I really don't care about that. Uh, I just need to see gravity, I guess. Uh, jump speed. Okay, let me just lower the gravity to like 700. And I'm gonna set the uh, jump speed to maybe, I don't know, 400. So make the uh, jump a bit more robust. Let me see. Let me get something to, to jump on. Uh, there's tons of stuff in this game engine, guys. I mean, uh, if you're not able to complete a game in, in Game Guru, well, uh, there's probably no hope for you. Alright. But um, actually, once you open Game Guru and start working with this, you'll see how easy it is to make games. Okay, anyone can make a game in this uh, game engine. Alright, let me see. Uh, let me place that gun over there. And there is all kinds of stuff here too. Let me just pick something more fun. Uh, crossbow, and Uzi. Yeah, try a shotgun. There you go. That, that's fun. And let's place a zombie. Okay. Try something. Uh, something crazy. Okay, try this. Um, this clown zombie looks pretty freaking scary. Everyone is like, oh my god, clown zombies. How more scary can you get than that? Uh, so let me just run this now. There is this zombie. And uh, let's grab the shotgun. There's the zombie. Actually, if you get too close to the zombie, the zombie will attack. And your health goes down. Oh my god. I did like a ton of uh, damage that time. Goodbye, zombie. Okay. And the jump. Uh, that might be a little too much. Uh, I don't know. I kind of like it. I kind of like high jumping. Sort of like Halo. Maybe a little less than that. And this is the good thing about this, you don't have to worry about like physics and stuff. Shum, gravity, you maybe just increase the gravity, like, I don't know, just put it back to 800 or something. And set this to maybe 380. This time I'm gonna add, let me see what else we can add here. You can add entire houses to this, let me just show you here. Uh, go to bridges, buildings. And let me just add, um, these are sand structures, I think. And could have like a warehouse, actually two warehouses, side by side. 
Okay, so there is our um, warehouses. Grab the shotgun. Maybe we should have added more zombies. And uh, I don't think this is the kind of warehouses where you can go in. Can you go inside? I think those are closed. Push where you can actually go in. Like, for example, uh, Blue Warehouse. I believe you can go inside this one. And it's much, much bigger. And if you want to look inside, I believe there's a button you can press. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. It's the tab button. And uh, this allows you to see inside structures. Okay. Uh, we are going to place a couple of uh, zombies inside. Press R to turn them around. And if you press Tab, they are completely now hidden. Now what you can do is uh, you can actually place like a key or something inside. Something you need to open. And I'm just going to show you what that looks like first and then we are going to do that. So that way you can create some sort of like, a, I don't know, like a small adventure game where you go around the map. Kill this zombie and uh, let me just uh, adjust the camera here. Now remember the user is not going to have access to the menu. This is only for the uh, the developer. Okay, you as a developer have to set the camera. You can set up scripts too to um, allow the uh, user to change the uh, the camera. Let me go find. Let me get inside there now to get those two zombies. Okay, I build it. <laughs> okay, so this this type of uh, buildings don't have doors. Okay, all right. So I I thought this one had a door, but it doesn't. So let me just find another building here. Uh, all these have doors. Uh, all these uh, all these kind of buildings here. Let me just place that over there. Uh, I think it has doors. Let me just uh, double check before I run back into the. Uh... Uh, okay, I'm not seeing any doors there. Okay, we have a shortage of doors today in this video. Okay, I'm clearly looking at doors here, so, <laughs> so this better have doors. There you go. I believe this has a door. Yes, and it does. I can actually. Place it there. I need something bigger though. Let me just delete all this bunch of uh, tiny little buildings there and I'm going to uh, check here. <laughs> Big buildings. There we go. That's, that's, that's pretty big. I can probably. Um, Extract it. Okay, you can even put them on top of each other. Apparently, that's I. I just realized that. Do you can make entire buildings like that? Uh, I don't know if they got any stairs though. Well, you can put a stairs there. All right. So uh, let me just find more stuff because I, I don't think this is gonna be enough. We got building packs here. We we actually have actual buildings. There we go. Okay, so let me just run this now just to show you what is happening here. Okay, so there is our buildings. Uh, of course, you probably will spend more time um, creating your level. It might be a good idea to actually write it down on paper first and then um, come to a uh, game guru and figure out what to do because I find that uh, you can spend a lot of time just um, placing things randomly and it's pretty time consuming when you already have an idea on paper you can know exactly where you're going to uh, place your buildings and stuff because like, look at me right now I, I have no idea where what I'm going to do here all right, so uh, I'm I'm thinking to set up some some sort of barriers for the key. 
All right, so the exit of the level could be. Let me just let me just make this quickly, just so you, so you get an idea how easy it is to build a game in Game Guru. Okay, let me just uh, delete that there to shoot things. Okay, so what we can do is uh, we can put the we can hide the key in here, and the exit to the level will be uh, case in here. Okay, so let's go get some um, some stuff there to lock lock the uh, the the exit of the level. Let me just actually do that now. Here is your markers, and. Um, and we want to find our win zone, okay, which is right here. This allows you to win the game, okay? So if you get to this area here, you win. You pass. You can go to... You can make this uh, load the uh, next level. All you have to do is uh, uh, type the name of the next level here, and it will load uh, the next map. All right, so... Um, uh, to do that, um, let me just uh, place the box here so we know where we are. And um, okay, chain gate. Okay, so let me try this one here. This actually can be locked. Oops. There we go. Go to properties. And it does need a key, so we're gonna use the. Um, a key called HH. Apply that. And let's try this out. Okay, and let's get our shotgun. And we're gonna go over there. Okay, and this is locked. Okay, I don't know if you can see that at the bottom. The door is locked. You have to find the key to open it. Okay. And the key, obviously. It's gonna be... It's gonna be in that building over there. Okay, you can probably design this level a, a bit better. I believe if you press B, it does a snap to um, object. Okay. Uh, delete that there. You can use anything to be a key. Uh, it doesn't really need to be um, a graphic of a key. I mean, a uh, 3D model of a key. I mean, it could be the shovel. Or could be literally anything, but uh, luckily for us, we do have a key here somewhere under collectibles, uh, item key, and place the key there. That's kind of tiny, kind of hard to see. You, you can probably scale this. Oops, I'm scaling the building. <laughs> scale the key, oh, I'm touching the uh, building again. Make it close to this. There we go. Scale. Be a pretty, pretty big key, but it will be very hard to miss it. Okay, so we want to key call this key uh, HH because that's what we call the um, gate. So this now will open our gate. Oh, how this doesn't matter. You can actually pick up both. And let's go get our key. So what will be interesting here will be to add some um, zombies to this, like like a bunch of zombies here. Pick up the key, and uh, we are going to go back to the gate there and switch your guns. Okay. So now we have the key. Press E to unlock the door. Let me just check that you can actually get in from the side. Oh my god, I left a hole. <laughs> Alright, but uh, the point is that um, 
you're not supposed to let anyone inside. So, open this, and voila. And here's your wind zone. So, you can see at the bottom there that it says uh, level complete trigger. Just like that. So basically, you can make uh, levels and you can hide the keys. And uh, you can do all kinds of things in Game Guru. Alright, okay, so there you go guys. That's how you can make a simple 3D game in one afternoon. Maybe, maybe a couple. Okay, so there you go. Okay guys, so thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to smack the like button down below and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Bye now. Uh, Game Guru generated a, um, a random level. Lots of mountains. Lots of stuff, actually. <laughs>